here's a stealthy way to drive traffic to your website for free. So let's check out today's platform. It's called joseph.com, J-O-O-S-E-P-H.com. And it allows you to create playlists. What's a playlist? Let me show you how to do it. Now, before we get into it today, it's actually the first part of a two part lesson. So today I'm going to give you some homework to do. You're going to use joseph.com to do that. And then in a couple of days time, we're going to take the next step and we're going to increase the amount of traffic you get for free. So when we land on joseph.com, it says playlist for learning, find great resources in a glance, save your time on learning instead of searching. So what this does, it compiles lists of the best content for any given niche or any given problem. I'll show you how to use it. It's very simple. So we just click sign up. It's going to allow you to add in your name, your email, your password, all that good stuff. Now I've already got an account, so I'm going to sign in. And when you sign in, I want you to head over to the discover section. So this is going to show you all the topics. Now you can think of these almost as niches that Joseph has got content covered for. Let me show you a few of these. So let's say if we go to entrepreneurship. So these are lists that people have compiled that will help with that topic. So let me show you one that I've made so you can see exactly how it works. So this one here for website traffic there, you can see all this is, is a list of some of my best videos that help people to drive traffic to their website. So what I've done is gone through all my videos and created that list, but that's just one way of using the site. So if we want to create one of these lists, there's a button there. It says create list. We give it a name. So let's say I want to create a list of the best marketing books I've read. Let me type that in now. I would encourage you to use this as an opportunity, this summary section, use that as an opportunity to add relevant keywords, but don't keyword stuff. So we're not going to spam a whole load of keywords here. What we want to do is make it very descriptive for the audience. So the, there's a community, a small community on Joseph. And what you have to do is create absolutely high value lists that deliver enormous value. And I know that that is exactly what you will want to do. So we add some relevant copy here, then we click create. And now at the bottom, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we have this add link button. We click that now. Just for demo purposes, what I'm going to do is add one of the best marketing books I've ever read, which is Influence by Robert Cialdini. So I'm going to type in Influence here. Hopefully I spelled his name right there. And now I'm going to link to a Goodreads page. This is not an affiliate link. I'm not profiting from this in any way. And then we can add an image link there so we can we can link to that if we want to. I'm not going to do it because I just want to get this done fast for you. Then we choose the icon, which I'm going to go with this one. Oh, we need to fill in the length. It's about 300 pages, I think. So put that in, then click create success. So there we have the first element in our list. So we can add to this all day if we want to. And I think the more high quality content you add to your lists, the better it is going to be for you and for the list and the community here. So again, we're putting the emphasis on creating quality lists that is going to benefit the community on this website. Now, in part two of this lesson, I'm going to show you a way to get even more traffic using these lists. But for now, I know that there could be a temptation to just list your best content here. I'm going to ask you to not do that. What I am going to ask you to do is think about the, the customer journey or the visitor journey and think about specific problems that you can help people to solve. So let me give you a very quick demo. So if I go to an online drawing platform thingy, so here, what we're going to do is map out the journey that your visitor might be taking. I encourage you to do this, to really think about this, because this is going to help you get more traffic in the long run. So here we have, let's draw on Joe. And Joe has a problem, so he's upset. So draw him on here. 
and this time give him a smiley face because he solved the problem so we need to take him from here over here so to do this what we do is we focus on the problem that he's experiencing draw a line over to solving the problem so we mark off all the milestones all the steps he has to take to solve this problem now if you make a list based around problems when it comes to part two of this you are going to be in a much better position to get more traffic so for example let's say joe here he wants to build a website so the first thing he needs to do is choose a niche so let's put an n on for that then he needs to get a domain name let's go with a d there then he needs to choose hosting and then he needs to install a cms so let's put a cms so there are all the steps he would need to do in order to to solve that problem so if we go to joseph and we create a list and we call it something like how to build a website now i'm not going to go ahead and complete this because i've already shown you how to create lists but if we focus on problems and delivering solutions to those problems when it comes to creating this list what that does is allows the list that you create to to become more shareable it has increased value when you do this it becomes a valuable resource and if we take things a step further and instead of just linking to content that you own and we start curating other people's content that becomes even more valuable still now let's go back to that website traffic sources list so here you can see i'm just linking out to my videos but what if I have other traffic sources on here from other people as well but I make sure that the very first one which is going to get the most attention the most traffic is mine so here we're not being overtly self-promotional which is a good thing we don't want to be too self-promotional we want to think about delivering maximum value to people and when you do that when you have multiple sources structured in this step-by-step -step way that delivers enormous value to people and it will encourage them to share and link to this list that you have created. Now, I've spoken to the owner of this website and he's told us the best way to use this for maximum results. Here's the email exchange that we had. So he says, I just want to emphasize a point. You need to gather really great resources if you want to be seen on the platform because if your list goes down below a certain point, it can't be seen on the platform basically we take it down our ranking system works based on likes and dislikes on the contents which a list curator gathers for instance you gathered resources about website traffic sources that's what i did on my list so if i start following your list and click your resources i can like or dislike them on joseph and this affects the overall ranking of your list another point you can give one like or dislike on the content from any given IP. Therefore, if you and your friends like dislike content from your Wi Fi, it will be counted as one. So, there you can see it works in a very similar way to a platform like Reddit where people can upvote or downvote. However, you want to make sure that you get the maximum number of upvotes so your list stays on the site. So, everything here seems to be manually reviewed, which is fantastic for us because we're only going to add valuable content, right? So that means we're going to be rewarded for adding valuable content as opposed to someone who just comes in, tries to almost spam their way to success, which as you and I know, doesn't work. So this is going to reward good curators. So I encourage you to go out there, find the best content in your niche, add your own to the mix and start building these high value lists that are based around very specific problems that you can help people to solve and if you can do it in a step-by-step -step way then they're going to get even more value from that and then in the next lesson we're going to take things a step further and you're going to learn how to drive even more traffic to your websites using this method now if you want to learn the traffic methods that i never share on youtube i'm going to give them to you for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic Grab that, will not cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. Hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time.
Take care.